Ja, mm, perfekt. perfekt. Was so? Also, ja. <lacht> Can you release to another way, just no. maybe? I just have to check my hair. Are you done? Hi and welcome, if this for some reason is your first video with us. My name is Kalle and this is my girlfriend Christine. As a celebration of us reaching 100,000 subscribers on this channel, uh, I asked you guys on both Instagram and YouTube to come up with uncomfortable questions and you for sure have. <laughs> uh, so today we're gonna sit down and talk about them mm -hmm. and answer your questions and a lot of the topics are stuff we've never talked about before on the channel. And there's also one thing I've never talked to you about before that I'm gonna share today. With me? Yeah. So the first question is, do you ever get tired of each other since you have so little space and no other people around you? Yes. <laughs> yes, next question. <laughs> yeah, we do. What we learn about each other now, what we learn about ourselves is like, we're a bit of a loners. Um, yeah. I didn't. I didn't thought that I was such as a big loner. <laughs> yeah, me neither. Because I'm very extrovert, and I really, you know, extrovert when I meet people. But I. But the way we recharge. Yeah, is it's by going ourselves. into ourselves. Yeah. yeah. But you're the only human I can be 24 hours together with every day. Yeah, same here. But of course, I get tired of you because yeah. it's like these sites where you like these sides are like, annoying about each other you know i think yeah. everyone knows that you yeah. know but i never get tired of you in a way like i don't want you there but i get tired yeah. of you annoying side <laughs> yeah, we're gonna, i think it's we're gonna, we have like questions about our our annoying side so that's yeah. coming up later even though we see each other this much when you leave and just take a walk with the dogs or um, go into town and shop i still miss you after like 20 minutes but yeah we get really annoyed at each other because it's so intense okay next question What's the most annoying thing about Kalle and what he does? Where to start? <laughs> <laughs> no, you're, you're not that bad, honey, but... <laughs> but. <laughs> There's always a but. Yeah. Um, Kalle, if he's not getting food, he's becoming a bit moody. <laughs> uh, in Danish you say gammal suman. That means like he become an old... Uh, grumpy man. Grumpy man. Yeah. That can sometimes be... <laughs> Be a bit challenging, yeah. Kelly, <laughs> yeah, let's keep going. <laughs> when he play uh, games, for example, uh, you learned this like two days ago. I learned it on the hard way two days ago. We play Uno, and um, we didn't went to bed that good friends say like that. No, I'm very competitive, like extremely. If, yeah. if only for like, even though we're just playing cards, having a good time with you and my family. I still have to win like and if i win i'm a really bad version of myself yeah. and if i lose i have an even worse person of myself but i have to give you a good to come and say sorry yeah and you also said sorry about that uno game yeah, yeah. i had to because i'm i knew it was totally my fault yeah so. and then something more yeah <laughs> no but we you know just normal uh, relationship things like i know you have some things you find annoying with me but like, I'm more clean in Kelly. Like, I want it more clean in the cabin. I want, you know, um, that is something is an ongoing struggle because we don't, you don't see it and I see it and yeah. I can understand why you can see it. But I think that is a typical relationship thing. Yeah, it is. I'm more concerned about the practical stuff and you're like, for you, it's really important to have a good everyday life, that it's clean. Mm -hmm. um, I don't care that much, actually. But for in me, if our house is messy, mm. I feel messy inside. Mm, I, I need the, you know, I need the clean surface to feel that I, I can breathe. Yeah, um, exactly. Yeah. So. Anything I more? No. <laughs> Not for now. <laughs> ask, ask us again in a year. Maybe I have a yeah. <laughs> list. Hey, this. Yeah. Hey. But it's a bit funny because I also want to say now because I feel a bit like now I want to say all the good things you do. Yeah, like, no, no, that's not the question now. How do you deal with your periods concerning no running water and also harsh winters? Oh, that's very private. But at the same time, also, yeah, why not talking about that? I do understand you girls. Uh, you're thinking about it. In Copenhagen, I use the organic cup. 
if you know that. I think it's cheaper, better for the environment because you don't have to buy something every time. But in the cabin, I have to say, yeah, it's very easy in when you have an apartment with water and you can you can not, not flush it, what called like rinse, rinse it. Yeah. But you can't do that in the same way in the cabin in minus uh, 20 degrees. Yeah, 25 degrees Celsius. Yeah. Minus 25 degrees Celsius. Um, because, yeah, it's just too cold and too cold to put it up back, <laughs> back up. I, just, I have to drop that after some while. And um, I'm actually bad, back on, what is it called? Bin on Danish, um, you know. Bin, bin that in Swedish. Um, yeah, those white thing <laughs> you put in your underwear, totally old fashioned. That's the only way it have been working for me without it being too disgusting. I don't know how to do it either way at the moment. Next question is how do you work through arguments? In, in At least in my view, I think we're quite equally grumpy and like quite equally annoying. For me, it's talking it out. Yeah. Actually. Either you take me to the couch and like, okay, now we need to sit down and talk, mm. or I take you to the couch and like, okay, we need to figure this out. Yeah. Um, so I would say the way we're solving it is actually talking. Yeah. And sometimes it gets resolved in like five or ten minutes. Sometimes times it takes two hours or a whole day. Like yesterday was a whole day of just grumpiness. That is what one thing you're really good at that. Now we sit down in the couch and we're not leaving the couch before yeah, I can get so annoyed because <laughs> I just... <laughs> yes. um, and we're not leaving the couch before we have talked. No. Um, and sometimes we have sit in, in the couch for hours. It's so funny, but it can be so hard to, to sometimes say, you know, tell what you really feel. Yeah. And sometimes you don't even know it before you like, and yesterday I was like, this is so stupid. I we have used 12 hours and be and I have used 12 hours. You have to, not, not me. I have no idea why she was so grumpy. Yeah. I, I had no idea. But sometimes, you know, you don't know because it's one big emotional boof inside of you. Yeah, but one thing I have do learned, like both from you and from myself, as soon as you say it out loud, yeah. it becomes really silly. Then yeah. you realize like, Oh, Kelly, this is such a childish behavior. Just yeah. drop it. And as soon as you say it out loud, it just takes away your pressure of talking about it, I think. But I think we really... <laughs> I'm scared. We are really good to, <laughs> to admit when we are... We have, you know... You're good to admit when you are done wrong and I'm good to admit it. And, yeah. And this is something that always will continue in a relationship. You will do stupid things. Like yeah. And then I think the best way is to admit it and just put your boundaries down and not be too proud, you know? Yeah, exactly. Pr that's actually a good thing. Like drop being proud. Yeah. Because as soon as you understand that you're only human, yeah. then it becomes way easier. Yeah, we do mistakes. Yeah, all the time. <laughs> how do you make a living? Like how do we earn money? For me, it's actually what you're watching right now. Uh, my main income is uh, YouTube and I earn money both on the ads that run before and after the videos and sometimes even during, depending on how long the video is. But that is kind of a small portion of it actually because YouTube doesn't pay that well uh, when you look at the views we're actually getting sometimes. So part of my income is that and a part of my income is the supporters on my, my Patreon page. So that is like almost 30% of my income I think. Mm -hmm. And then I do sponsors on the videos, and that is actually the main income, I would say. Having sponsors allow me to do this full time. Yeah. Without the sponsors, that wouldn't have be possible. Like this weekend, uh, I'm going off to uh, Gothenburg with my friend Otto to record. I have a Nala hair. I'm going off to uh, Gothenburg, a town in Sweden. Yeah. We're filming an uh, adventure race together. And that's what I have to do as well, besides YouTube, to earn the money I need to, to make a living. To pay for the cabin, to pay for rent, to pay for new camera gear, to... Like, I have a podcast as well, but I don't earn any money on that so far. I'm writing an ebook right now. That's gonna be hopefully a bit of income. And actually in the ebook, I'm sharing the specific numbers what I'm um, earning as well. So that could be a bit of a teaser to buy it in the future. So how about you? What I am earning money is uh, clients I have online or my woman's, uh, woman's circle. Um, that 
I hope it's gonna be my main income. I don't earn anything on YouTube. Um, I gonna do some ebooks soon. My view on it that you shouldn't focus on like having one income. No. It's so important that you spread it out to have several incomes, mm. several income streams at least. Now it's my turn to answer. Yeah. What's the most annoying thing that Christina does? Nothing. You're perfect. <laughs> You're so perfect. Number one thing would be actually that when you've been to the bathroom and the toilet piper runs out, she takes the last piece, she doesn't refill it. And you might mm -hmm. think, that ah, that's not a problem. You can just reach for a new roll. <laughs> no, when you're living like we do and the I can toilet feel I'm blushing right now. Yeah, you should, you should be. <laughs> When you're living like we do right now, uh, <laughs> there's like a compost toilet and yeah. there's a hundred meters to the next toilet roll. And you're sitting there, you've done your business and then you realize, ah, oh, there's no paper. Yeah. I and that is just, hang on, this is my time, my time to shine. Um, like it has not happened one time. It's like... I know. Ongoing. But I'm, I'm a very dis distraught. Colony. You're gonna say disgusting, yeah. You have a lot of your mind, maybe? Yeah, I'm very much like, yeah, I'm so much in what I'm doing. So yeah. I'm like, okay, I have to remember go in and pick up the toilet paper and go out with it again. Yeah. But I'm forgetting it. When yeah. I'm in the door, I'm like, oh, Nana needs this, or she, I need to do this. So I'm, <laughs> I really want to do it, but yeah. I'm forgetting it. Yeah, I know. Like, yeah, I know she yeah. doesn't do it on purpose, but it's still annoying when you're sitting there. Yeah. On the toilet and have no I totally paper. understand. I will also be very naive yeah. <laughs> if I was you. The other thing that is sounds very small, but we have like a, a key holder. Is that the word for it? Yeah. You know what I was going to say this. Yeah, right? I yeah. do. Things are supposed to hang where they're supposed to hang. Every time she's been out of the car, it's like, no, the car keys is somewhere else. So whenever I have, I have to take the car, I have to plan in like five minutes of asking you where it is or where to find it. But this is also, I want to just make this clear. We have this saying in our family here. We love each other to like 95%. <laughs> like I love her to death. But the, the point is that like we have 95% of good things. I'm 95% good and I have 5% that is annoying habits. And the same with you. And sometimes I go down to being 93% like good because I'm extra annoying. Um, but just accepting that a person or a job or whatever it may be is never gonna be perfect. I can't expect her to be perfect. And forgetting the car keys or forgetting toilet paper, that is like, when you think about it, it's absolutely nothing because I get to share my life with my dream person. So the toilet paper is not the end of the world, but it's still really annoying. <laughs> It's part of the 5%. Who is your dream podcast guest is my next one. And if you haven't listened to my podcast, you can search for My True North. It's on iTunes and Spotify and wherever you can look. I think my dream podcast guest, for now at least, would be, I think, Matt Diavella or Natalia Drew or Thomas Bragg from Yes Theory. I think yes you Theory. should write the name on the, on the screen. Because yeah, yeah, it will I, pop up here. Yeah. There's no problem. I've actually booked a podcast guest last week that I haven't told you about. Okay. Yeah. Nay. 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 Yeah. Oh, so wow. We're, we're recording. Soon. That is so cool. You have to wait for that. I'm one. sorry. That is so cool. <laughs> Isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. I'm very proud nice. of that. Nice. So that is also one of my dream guests that is coming on. So, yeah. are you planning on having children? It's the next question. <sighs> <laughs> Big sigh from Christina. <laughs> You should know how many that ask that question at the moment. Yeah. I know I am 31, so my family is asking, not my mom and dad, my mom is more like relaxed about it, but my family is asking, my the friends is asking, asking, the common field is asking. What if we can't, we, we can't make children? Yeah, you know, then you've been sitting here, yeah, we want children. And, and then you also have to share like that we can, but uh, at the same hand, I'm thinking I'm a hormone therapist. I should make, could be able to make children, but... Yeah, but at the same time, the question is, do you want children? Like, and of course we do. Yeah, but that is still like, because then you said, yeah, I want children and then no children came. So when is the children? You know, that would be the next question. Yeah, but that is our business, not everyone else. Yeah. I know we share our lives here, but... Yeah. If yeah. something happens, it happens. But yeah. the, the plan is to get children. But the thing is like, we feels like we have two children already. So yeah, we're, I think we're going up and like 
back and forth each day like oh mm. today, today we want to get children and the next day like nope we're getting two more dogs that's it how do i you know how can i create all this content for you guys and uh, run my woman circle and there's this little human that also need me so yeah. but also if you think about how many people that actually have kids and they have mm -hmm. worked it out so yeah i know there's gotta be a way uh, we just need to drop our ego and i also think I, it's, oh, it's, i'm sorry it is the fear of will i become a good enough mom if I, if i'm so busy mm -hmm. you know because i don't want children that i can meet you know i, I want to be there for them yeah but that's why you're a team in a relationship mm -hmm. to help each other sometimes my periods like um, scheduling with films and what I do it's gonna take a lot of the time and then you have to take the kids and the dogs yeah. and sometimes your schedule is gonna overflow and then I mm. have to step in so it's about being a team I think but of course we we want kids yeah that's we the short kids. answer yeah we want kids <laughs> did Christina have a hard time moving to Sweden in the middle of nowhere no no that's a very easy answer <laughs> no I haven't because um I want to move you know the way I found you was because I was searching for how I should move. Mm, yeah. um, and that was actually how we came in contact. Yeah. Uh, to make it really short, that I ask you questions about how you did it. Because yeah, I was exactly. already planning to do it myself. Yeah. You were already starting the yeah. journey. When I told my friends and family, I'm going to move, they were not surprised because I've no. been talking about this for years. This is something I've been thinking about since I was a teenager. Yeah, actually. it's not something new. But you did move into a cabin that was a bit more minimalistic than you thought about? I didn't thought I would move into a cabin like this. No. no. I thought I would find, a, you know, my first thought was I was going to find an old Danish farmhouse mm -hmm. to live in with you know, with hay roof and yeah. all that. That was what I thought. And I also been looking at Sweden. That was why I contacted mm -hmm. you. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you make me sound like a, a tourist company or something. No, but you did it. So yeah, yeah, that was course. easy to ask you. Yeah. Um, I didn't know that I would have fallen so deeply in love with you as well. But so yeah, it took me many years to get over the fear of being lonely and you know all of this should be in the city mm -hmm. uh, thoughts so it was when I felt so bad and my inner voice had been screaming since I was a teenager and and I was like I'm losing my life living others life yeah you know what you're expected expect to do. expectations what makes you feel uncomfortable in a relationship not talking out loud loud what we're th thinking and feeling like when I can feel there is something in the air that you haven't said to me, or if I like don't dare to express what I'm truly feeling, that's super scary to me. Mm. That's why I always want to sit you down and really talk it through. Like, okay, what is behind these arguments or the grumpiness or mm. wh where is it coming from? The worst thing I know is being shut out. Like, yeah, I hate that. I, I, I really, I can panic in that. Like. Yeah, you don't do it. So no, no but you? You, I just laugh because you are very good at I do it myself. putting up That's a wall. That's so funny. Yeah. yeah, I know. I know, it's so stupid. I do what I hate to be do to me. Yeah, it's like yeah. you do the classic, like maybe <clears throat> a bit generalizing, but a classic girl thing like, honey, what is it? Nothing. Can you please tell me what is? <gasps> no, nothing. And then I have to like sit you down and we talk it through and then we but figure it out. It's a lot, you know, I just want to say now it's getting a bit private because this is a lot to do with my past. Yeah, where I was not able to tell my emotions without a consequence of that working. Yeah. Exactly. So I have learned for so many years to shut myself down yeah. when I feel something. Do you take showers every day, even in the winter? No. no. Like my belief is that, sorry, I just have to flip the screen like that. Um, my belief is that you shouldn't take showers every day. Like the body doesn't really need that. Of course, if you've done heavy exercise and, and it's sweaty, mm -hmm. um, but I think it, it dries out the body to take showers every day. I don't take full showers, but I do, you know, uh, do my face and under my arms and all yeah, of yeah, that exactly. every day. Yeah but not the not the full shower this is also one of the big questions that we get a lot do you guys want to get married one day uh, this is in my common field all the time 40 50 times it's a week so funny. It's when are you all... gonna propose and yeah when are you gonna propose and i've been thinking what do you guys want him to answer because 
If you're gonna answer that, I will see it. I will propose on the 23rd yeah, of like, September. You can't answer that because no. it has to be a surprise, guys. You know. Yeah. If and you... I, I almost, it's like a child in that sense. Like the more people that ask, the more yeah. I want to wait. Yeah. You know. And what if I want to propose? <laughs> yeah, that's you not know? gonna happen though. We, so... we hope on getting married one day, or we are gonna get married one day. Yeah. And... But it has to be a surprise, guys. I want to be like. I didn't see this come, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Do you ever worry about not co-owning the cabin and what would happen if happen if you broke up? We have talked about, about that a yeah. lot because, you know, I move away from my country. Yeah. I settle down not only like uh, in the south of Sweden, but in the north. So I am 14, 15, 16 hours yeah, away, a lot of hours. away from my family and friends. Mm -hmm. um, my whole career is about you. Yeah, uh, not about me, but no, yeah. <laughs> it's, uh, uh, how do you say that? Yeah, like, I know what you attached mean. Attached to you. Yeah, of course. Um, and I like that, you know, I want that as well. But it mm. is scary sometimes to think about I'm living in your house. Mm. I don't even own a camera at the moment. So I'm, a, I'm a, a, you know, I'm, I'm in that way I also need your equipment. Yeah. I really like to be um, independent. I'm independent. Yeah. I really love to be that and to feel strong. Yeah. But at the other hand, you my soulmate, it's good. Yeah. I you know. know, you you are um and now now we've been living so closely together for a year. I feel I almost know everything about you. Yeah. You are part of me. I yeah. I don't want to be without you. So yeah. I'm also like, and I love my life in Sweden. Yeah. I've never been so happy as I am now. No. I thought I was happy before she moved in. Like I had a good life with a cabin and a dog and uh, what I did for a living. But like when you add your soulmate to that equation, like it just, yeah, it doubles, 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 triple. Yeah, it just yeah. Got, becomes so much better. But just to be like referring back to your question about co-owning the cabin, I offered you to buy in in the cabin, yeah. like even before you moved in. Yeah. So I see the cabin as has, half hers already, yeah. but on paper it's not yet. Yeah. Uh, but it takes, even though it's a cheap cabin, it's still money mm. uh, to buy in. But you have, you can buy in and like, you can get half of the cabin whenever you want. Do you ever feel like of privacy from each other? No. no. I can feel that I like need a bit more me space sometimes. Yeah. But not privacy. No. I wouldn't say. Do you have any problems with vermin like mice or bats? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's one thing you don't see about buying a camera as well. We do have very social mice in the cabin. Very social mice. They can just, while I'm sitting and working, I just hear like tick, 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 mm. and they're sitting like two meters away from me. Mm. They're very friendly um, forest mice, but they're eating uh, our trash bins and yeah. um, gnawing them stuff. Yeah. It's actually been a bit problem. And especially because um, they're crawling everywhere. So I almost have to start, you know, those dishes that's already washed, I have to wash them again before we using them because they've been yeah. walking around on them. Yeah, exactly. I don't know if I've shared this with you. No? I have never been afraid of the dark, like living in the cabin. I've been afraid of the dark when I like was a kid because my dad scared me a lot. Um, so I've been scared of the dark that way. But <laughs> I- Scared you a lot. Yeah, but he has. Yeah. Yeah. He's a very, very loving guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just yeah, 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 of course, yeah, yeah. Just sounds so but horrible. He's very, um, is it busig in Sweden? Like, uh, he loves to have fun. Yeah, he does. Like yeah. That. <laughs> yeah, I love you, Dad. Yeah. Uh, but what happened in the cabin when I lived there alone is that uh, I thought I always had like small mice running up and down because the roof where we sleep is quite close to our heads, uh, and I never really thought about like, yeah, there are some mice running up and down. It's not a big problem. Um, I just have to live with that because there's no insulation or there was no insulation in the roof so they can just have free time up there. And then one night I just like heard there was something in the room and I couldn't really like relax because I was like okay there's something in the room like sounded like a bird. And then I put the, the lamp on and the lighted up the whole room and then I saw three big bats flying around in our very very small bedroom like zoom like super close and I was laying um, without a cover because it was so hot that summer so I was ex like completely naked and these three bats just flying around and I felt so vulnerable uh, so I took our you know mosquito net we have that's covering the the windows because I wanted to open up for them so they could disappear somewhere at least so I took that mosquito net and I placed it over myself like this and then I walked 
to the door and try to push it up because I thought it was like, they're not, I know they're not dangerous, but it felt so, ugh, I couldn't like relax in it at all. Yeah. And the, the problem is with, with bats is they are uh, fridlysta in Swedish, uh, red listed. So you can't actually make them move. Um, that's not allowed. They just kept living there. We but don't they, have them anymore. No, say. they have moved out now mm. uh, and I haven't forced them. They just moved out mm -hmm. on their own since we renovated the roof. Yeah. Uh, or they actually moved out before. Have either of you wanted to back out of the cabin life? And then you look at me. <laughs> yes and no. You know, I love the place we're living, but the cabin life is challenging. Yeah, it is. I just have to say because it's hard in the winter when everything is so cold and you have to, you know, there's so much work. Just before we left the cabin, actually before we drove to you, to um, to Denmark, I I have again one of my crying crying time. I don't know why I really like just yeah <laughs> just sobbing. yeah because um, I, and I think that is because you're just getting so tired, you know. Um, yeah. and a lot of things take a lot of time. Why I cried this time was like I was so tired and I'd been work all day and we got the problem that the water ran out again because it was too hot. Yeah. And then I have to go down in our well to see mm. if there was some water there. Oh yeah, now I remember. And then yeah. I, it's so heavy that lid that's on that well. It's a concrete lid. Yeah. yeah. And then I, you know, you know how much I have to work for get that lid on, off, I mean. And then yeah. it's, I got my two fingers under it. Yeah. So I just stood with blood, like just running. Yeah, and I wasn't at home. No. And then I just... I just begin to cry. Yeah. Because I was I was so tired and there was no mm. water in that in that lid either and in that yeah. very well. So but the other hand, all of this work also makes me feel so alive. Yeah. Of course it's so it funny. Is. Like it really it depends on the day. Mm. But sometimes I just really love going out, picking water, making fire and all of that. I, so I, I think it's depends on the day how Yeah, it is. Yeah. Like and I can totally admit to when I first moved to the cabin, when it was so cold inside, like minus 25 degrees inside, mm -hmm. I had like four layers of clothing, sleeping bag, tuss next to me, and I was just still a shivering. Uh, and I had no kitchen at all because I was torn the whole kitchen out and build a new one. I really started questioning my life decisions from time to time. Like, what am I doing here? Like, yeah. what? why am I not in a comfortable apartment with running water, with heat? Mm -hmm. I don't think we never would switch it out. No, because that is the funny thing. If anyone like actually offer me to move, I don't want to move. No. So it's like, exactly. yeah. So yeah, we think about it from time to time that yeah. we want to give up on it, but it's just a feeling in the moment. How did you guys meet? Was it love at first sight? And I thought we're going to save that to an entire mm. own video because that's, that that's sounds a selfish long story. and egocentric. <laughs> yeah, it's a long story and it's, I yeah. really love the story. But thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for all your uncomfortable questions. Thank you for listening. Bye bye. Bye bye. Perfect. Oh. <laughs> okay, this. So, what kind of questions should be answered? The camera is that way, yeah? yeah. <laughs>